Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how to install Maven on your computer and how to configure your first Maven project. I feel that's very important as I noticed that a lot of people who start learning programming are struggling with the configs and sometimes it blocks them from actually learning coding. That was actually the case for me. I was stuck on the configs for days. It was so frustrating and it actually made me not want to learn. So I want to avoid this pain for you. The setup that I will show you is very easy. It works 100% of the time. And once you master it, you can move to fun stuff. This video consists of three sections. In the first section, we'll download Maven on your computer. In the second section, we'll set up environment variables. And in the third section, we will configure Maven project in IntelliJ IDEA. Step one and two, you need to perform just once and you're done. And step three, you need to repeat every time you start a new project. You can fast forward to any section of this video that interests you. I will put timelines here. So let's start. The first step is to make sure that you have JDK installed on your machine. Use the following command to check it, java-version. You can see I have Java 18 present. If you don't have Java installed, you want to watch my video on this topic first before proceeding. I'm linking a video on how to do it in the description of this video. Once JDK is verified, let's download Maven. So just go to Google and type download Maven. Go to Apache website who are creators of Maven and you will see links to the files. For Mac, select the first one. For Windows, select the second. Once it's downloaded, extract files to your location of choice. I will move it to Applications. And let's copy bin directory. It's important to copy the path to bin directory as we will need it later for upcoming section 2 of this video, Environment Variable Setup. To copy path on Mac, control click on the folder or right click on it and hold Option button. And the copy option in the menu will pop up. And on Windows, simply copy path from the menu after right-clicking. Let's verify the installation by executing command maven-v. If you see the message command not found, don't worry. It's because we didn't set up environment variable for maven. And this brings us to the section 2, setting up path variable for maven. Path variable setup process is the same for Windows and Mac when you use the terminal. For Windows, you can also set it up through the system settings, but we will not be covering it in this video. Like I said, the method that I will show you works for both. So once you learn it, it doesn't matter what operating systems you're going to have. Run the following export command, pasting your bin directory. And after that, try again maven-v command. If this did not work, it means that the bin directory that you pasted is not correct, so please go back to the folder where you unpacked Maven and double check. If this worked for you, copy the entire command that you just ran and will permanently save it in a configuration file. Now, how to find config file? First, run the command. This will give you a name of the shell you are using. You can see mine is zsh. So my config file is zshrc. If you got bash, your config file is bashrc. Run the following command pasting your config file. This opens our config file. Move all the way to the bottom and paste our initial export path command with bin directory. Control X to exit and save. And one more command to apply changes. Now when you run maven-v command, it will work. You are done with section 1 and 2. Remember, it is a one-time setup and you will never need to do it again, so you may forget about it now. And if you need it in the future, you can come back to this video. Now let's move to the section 3, which is setting up Maven project in IntelliJ. This step needs to be repeated for every new project you are creating. So we are in IntelliJ IDEA. We go to the new project, select Maven project, and archetype quick start. This will take a while and it will prepare file structure for you to use. Once it's ready, you can start using Maven. You can add your dependencies in POM XML file. Let's add Lombok library, for example.
Let's run sample program. It defaults to hello world. We can see that it works. Guys, that's all for this video. As usual, I hope it was useful for you and see you again soon.